Good evening viewers, thank you for joining me tonight with Soccer Extra. Great to have your company once again in bringing you some great stories on football. On our lineup tonight, we bring you a report on the senior women team heading into camp, news on the Telecom National Soccer League Round 10 matches, an interview with PNG FA and OFC President David Chung on the FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup, and we wrap up with the weekend's draws and points letter of the Telecom National Soccer League. But now, we begin with the report on the senior women's soccer team heading into camp. The national women's soccer team will have their second camp next week, giving all they have as they prepare for the 15th edition of the Pacific Games to be held in the Papua New Guinea capital of Port Mosby in July. The women's team will have a 24-member squad in the camp, giving all they have at the training, 20 days away before the final selection. Out of the 24 players in the team, six players are based in Port Mosby, 12 from Ley, 4 from Medeng, 1 from Ramu and 1 from Kimbe. This squad will spend a week in Goroka at the National Sports Institute to run trial matches. Upset was the order of the day in the National Soccer League Round 10 matches on Saturday. Undisputed champions, Hacker United, tasted the first defeat of the season, going down to well-drilled Besta PNG United side 2-1 at Bomana Correctional Services Oval, outside Port Mosby. Here's Leo Jakanduo with more. In another upset, third place, the FC Port Mosby were tamed by the home team Medding FC 4-2 in front of a vocal crowd at Lawaiden Oval. But the losses do not affect their standing in the competition ladder, with Hekari still maintaining its top spot. Hekari's winning spree had to be dented by a more coordinated best side with bulk of its players returning from the national under-23 sides friendly match in Solomon Islands last week. Bestest two goals came from penalty goals by Freddy Steven in the first half and a cleanser in the second half. Hekari's danger man and striker Tommy Semi scored for the boys in red, but he left the field prematurely due to a head injury he received while attempting another goal. However, the loss for Hekari means something for the country's champions, as they leave on Monday for Fiji for the OFC Champions League, ahead of this weekend's opener against Tafia FC. In the other double header, Admiralty FC drew with Oro FC to all, in a match that could have gone either way. The nuts and balls to stage the 2016 FIFA World Cup Under-20 Women's Tournament is moving swiftly with the return of Papua New Guinea and OFC President David Chung. Let's join Mr. Chung with this interview. There are 16 teams, four in a pool. That means you're talking about four stadiums. But in FIFA requirements, you need at least minimum three host city. The reason is there are two matches in one day. Uh -huh. And it cannot be in the same area because of the live telecast and because of the spectators get collections. You have to look at both angles. So I'll be looking at three stadiums. At this stage, I will proposing uh, the Malay, uh, Kokopo. Kokopo is just a question mark between Kokopo and Wewek. I might choose because Kokopo and Wewek might be special cases where I, will, and I don't have intention maybe to place a full time play a team there. They might stay in Mosby, fly in two or three days before the match, play, and then come back. I think it would be better to, to be that way. Then, then, because Kokopo and Weaver needs a lot of, of upgrading. You know? Because in hosting a, a FIFA World Cup thing, you must have a VIP lounge, you must have a good media, you must have 24 hours uh, uh, with backup generators, you must have a flight light, is equivalent to 1,200 lux, okay, minimum 1,200 lux. 
So you must have a full time security. All this has to be upgraded in certain ways. So that's why after the inspection, then we will make a decision. We feel far together. We need to make make a decision because I cannot make the decision. I can make. I can recommend the FIFA. FIFA needs to look at it and then say, okay, it's it's good enough for this. Well, time has caught up with us, but before we leave you, let's now take a look at this weekend's Telkom National Soccer League draw and points ladder. Thanks for watching. That's all for tonight. See you all again next week at the same time with Soccer Extra. Log on to www.pngfootball.com.pg to get more information and updates of football in the country. We would like to thank the following sponsors. Telcom PNG Limited, International Food Corporation, Table Birds, and New Guinea, Bank South Pacific, Coral Sea Hotels, Trukai, Roadside Assistance PNG, Tolek Electronics, PNG Olympic Committee, HBS and Jumac Corporation Limited for all your continuous support in developing football in the country. From the Soccer Extra Crew and PNG FA, good night.